one. So Bear's on my lap because he wouldn't let me put him down. He kept grumbling and grumbling at me from down below, Grumpy Bear. I just wanted to share a very quick DIY with you. I purchased a mason jar type cup at the Dollarama for $1.25 or $1.50. They were going for about $6.99 at Michael's, so I thought that was a really great deal, but I turned it into something more functional around the house which is a soap pump. I hope you love the idea and if you do please be sure to give me a like or subscribe to the channel for more DIYs like these. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time take care everyone. Bye! Oh you're so grumbly! So I began with the jar type mason cup. I removed the straw and then I positioned my soap dispenser. I'm actually reusing something from an older soap dispenser and you can do the same just kind of fiddle with it until it fits. If you have to cut the straw to fit the length of the mason jar, you can do that as well. So at this point, I removed the little plug and I then took a nail and started adjusting the metal just to kind of bend it inwards a little bit so that my soap dispenser would plop or fit right in perfectly. So I continued just adjusting it and testing out how much wider I needed to open the little hole. So I just needed another little touch here. I nail, I used the nail to bend in the metal. And now when I put the soap dispenser plug back in, it just kind of snaps right into place, which was perfect. Now I have a black base there and then oil rub bronze. I wanted to change that up. I just removed the sticker off the lids or off the bottom of the jar so that I wouldn't see it once you fill it up with your choice of soap. So I've mixed some gold spun acrylic paint with black and it looks kind of yucky here on the screen but once it was dry it actually had this nice antique gold finish and I was really pleased with the uh, outcome of it. So don't be too particular about your first coat. I definitely used two coats. This is my base. I didn't even cover the entire area, just kind of quickly gave it a little coating. I allowed that to dry about 10-15 minutes later and gave it the second coat. So here I did the top piece and the jar lid so that everything was the same. I fastened it back together and now you have the option to apply some E6000 glue here, hot glue, crazy glue. Mine kind of popped right and snapped right into place and it, it was fixed so I didn't need to apply anything. However, E6000 would definitely secure it. And that's my little soap pump. It was so easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this process. If you do, please be sure to give me a like and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching everyone and have a wonderful day.